What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel, Physician Assistant Study Buddy. In today's video, we'll talk about how to get shadowing hours in these crazy COVID times and how to get most of your shadowing experience, as well as what we as providers expect when you come to shadow us. My name is Mesha. I'm a neurosurgery ICU PAC. I graduated last year from University of Utah. Tip number one, keep in mind that when you are shadowing providers, this is from my provider point of view, since, you agree, since we agreed to let you shadow on our usually busy schedule to help you see what we do and educate you about a position and a PA profession. Don't ask too many personal questions. Just don't do that. Do just enough to come across as friendly person versus just being nosy. Sure, if you're shadowing somebody for several days, weeks, then yeah, those things will come up. But if you're there only for a day or two or a few hours, then that time should be used to learn the most and leave the lasting impression. Always ask, is this a good time to ask a question before just firing that question? Or you may just say, may I ask a question? That should do, uh, that shows you're polite. You will be more likely to, give, will be more likely to give you honest answer when you're nice. Be nice to everyone in the office, smile, open doors, etc. You should have a list of questions you want to ask before you come, this is huge. It goes without a question that you should dress professionally when shadowing providers. Uh, those questions uh, should be about learning about a PA profession, that specific field you're interested in, and getting tips when it comes to applying to a PA school. Questions like, uh, what do you wish you could change about PA profession? Uh, if you were starting your application process all over again, knowing what you know now and experience you have, what would you do different and why? Did you have any issues, stumbles, when you were applying to PA school and how did you overcome those issues? If you were starting a PA school all over again, knowing what you know now, what would you do differently when it comes to studying, tests, uh, ERs, PENs, uh, selecting your electives, uh, loans, etc. Just ask questions about school and learn. How did you land this job? What electives did you choose in school and why? What do you think helped you get into the PA school? What tips you have for pre-PAs to stand out in a PA uh, program? Uh, again, don't ask personal questions. Uh, you are there to learn. You can ask if you really want to find out more about that provider, ask them about how's their work-life balance and see what they say. Uh, they may be telling you about missing time with, you know, from playing sports, their family time, biking, hiking, whatever. This is a good time to thank you for watching this video. Uh, please do hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell, uh, give this video a thumbs up. I will truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate that, guys. Tip number two how to get hours in these crazy COVID times. We're all struggling in these COVID times. Sure, some will be virtual, but I believe you can still get these one-on-ones as well. How? Well, first start with the people you know, your family doctor, your kid's pediatrician, your dermatologist, cardiologist, endocrinologist. Think about all the medical providers you had an encounter with either as a patient or one of your family members. You could have been seen by dermatologists in the past, you have their contact information, uh, more than likely they'll have PACs working in their office. Go ahead with the one, two paragraph, little bio, why you wanna be a PA, why you're interested in PA in school, how much you would appreciate if they let you shadow. Make that a two paragraph statement, hit them up, send them an email. Also make sure you have a HIPAA clearance. It's an online class certification that you can get through your workplace or school. Once you have that, you can tell them I have a HIPAA clearance as well. That should help you. Now go ahead and contact all these providers via via phone, email them. Also, it may help to look up the offices and email the office managers. That about shadowing. Office managers are amazing. They know everybody in their office. They know all the providers and their uh, schedules. So hit them up as well. Tip number three. This is a big one and likely the one that will get you the most responses and shadowing hours. If you're working in a big organization, like a hospital, a clinic, as an x-ray tech, phlebotomist, MA, ER tech, EKG tech, whatever, find out where the provider's rooms are and in the fields that you're interested in to shadow. See, if you see, you see them in a hallway or a lunchroom and also ask all your co-workers if they know any PSCs that might be able to let you shadow. 
Now that you have a list of places you want to shadow, your next job is to go to that department, go to that provider's room, or it could be the area that they congregate in, introduce yourself, and ask to talk to any PACs and MDs, whatever. Say who you are, where you work, and that you're interested in shadowing them, ask for a day, and then later on that day, you can ask for more days if they don't agree to more than one day at first. Uh, I believe you'll have a greater chance of getting a provider to say yes if you only ask for one day first. Uh, tip number four, when you're looking for shadowing hours, you should have solid elevator pitch ready for asking providers to shadow. Something like, my name is Mesha, I'm an MRI tech, I uh, saw your name on my MRI exam order form, I skinned so many of your patients, I'm super interested in going to PA school and in a PA profession as a whole. I would love to shadow you and get the first-hand experience and see what the PAs do daily. Uh, I would truly appreciate that opportunity. Here's my contact info. I'll write it down on a sticky or ask me if they prefer you uh, to email them with your information. Please let me know when is a good day to uh, shadow you. Thank you. Also, guys, all orders forms that come across in a hospital will have a provider's name and contact information. So when you have five minutes, call them or add their name to the list of providers you want to visit face-to-face -face when you walk over to the provider's room. That right there should lend you some hours. It shows you're proactive, you're interested, you're interested, and I, I believe it works. Uh, I allow students to follow me like that. Hospitals are small places. Most everyone knows everybody. If you get someone to shadow you, and when with those certain providers, ask those providers you're shadowing if they know other PAs in that organization that might be willing to let you shadow. They have their cohort, they have their friends, they know everybody from different departments, and then more likely they'll be happy to let you get in touch with the, their friends and let you shadow. Reach out and ask them, uh, follow through. Guys, this is a great profession and well worth it. Uh, tip number five. If you work in a little private clinic or basically outside of a big hospital, maybe you're just a student getting in an undergrad out of the way or you know, you're know still preparing for a pre-PA, uh, wait, wait to reach providers and ask for hours is again by doing the research in the area you're interested in and going to that department's website, hospital website, the little clinic's website, and go to the tab when they have the providers list. Contact those providers with your little elevator pitch, tell them you're interested, uh, and you never know, you might be able to get some of those, uh, and you're gonna learn in their bio, for they in the military, they play sports, uh, what schools they live in, are they maybe from this small town like you are, your parents or something, something basically you can involve in your elevator pitch to bring them closer to you and hopefully get them to say yes. Also hit those office managers, they are a gold mine of information. Let them know you're interested in shadowing and they may be able to help you. Uh, you can say something like, hi so-and-so, my name is Mesha, I'm an MRI tech at so-and-so place, I'm super interested in a PA profession, I'm looking to gain some more insight into your specific field, I have always been fascinated by cardiology, neurology, trauma, whatever, I'm hoping to learn about profession and daily workflow, I would truly appreciate if you would have me shadow you for a day or even a few hours, thank you and I look forward to hearing from you. It doesn't have to be a big hospital organization, guys. It could be your local orthopedic office, your private family medicine office, urgent care, etc., etc., etc. Hopefully, you'll get some helpful information in this. Hopefully, you got that list in your mind. Hopefully, you do all the things that I said and follow through. Get your elevator pitch down. I believe you'll do just fine. Uh, this is an amazing profession, you guys. I love being a PA. I love being a PA in the ICU. It has been a fascinating next month. It'll be one year that I'm there. And I hope you find this video helpful. I hope uh, that it inspires you to follow your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Like I said, this is an amazing profession. Many people have helped me in my path to the PA. And also when I was looking for my first job. So that's why I created this channel to help you guys as others have helped me. Thank you, stay safe, and please hit that subscribe button.